Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do a photo shoot together. So exciting. Uh, I actually got hold of some really nice looking strawberries. So I was thinking maybe we can do a spring photo shoot with a spring type of salad with some red strawberries to add some nice pop of color. And actually we can also learn how to add story into a simple photo very very easily so let's dive into it but before we do that i invite you to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video where we're gonna actually go and edit the photo we take today in light okay so we're ready let's first look at how this whole thing is set up so i have a large diffuser here and right in the back i have my speed light i really like this uh, style I've set up for bright photos. I use a large diffuser if you're styling a larger sheet. Uh, if you're styling a larger photo, then you can also use a bigger one. So this one is 90 by 120 centimeters. I also have my camera set up here on a C-stand, so it's ni nice and uh, straight down. We're gonna do a flat lay. And I'm also probably gonna use this white foam board but we're gonna add it later on. So this is a basic setup. It's really extremely simple. It doesn't require lots of equipment. Uh, so now we can go on and see what we have from the prop. So like I mentioned, this is gonna be a spring shot and we want to add storytelling. So I have a really nice white tile backdrop um, and I'm gonna use all the bright pr uh, props. I have a nice plate for the salad, then I have a bunch of smaller things where I can add some ingredients. I also like to use this bottle of oil. I use it very often lately. Um, and basically, oh, I also have this uh, napkin, which is kind of pinkish, greenish color. I think it might look really great in the photo. Um, and I actually also have a uh, branch <laughs> with some flowers. So the idea behind storytelling is to let the viewer know what is happening in the frame. So this might be a different season, a different room, like whatever it is, you need to know what's happening. So like I mentioned today, I'm gonna do a spring. So what I want to do is be inspired by spring to choose props like I already mentioned. And this kinds of things so the natural props when you're choosing to add season to your photo so that be the story uh, are really really a nice way to tell the the viewer when this is happening so i found this really nice branch with some florets and i'm gonna try and incorporate it in the photo um, what i don't want to do is this branch to overpower the whole entire uh, scene so we're gonna just try to make it pick in a little bit um, and also what tells the story are the colors so the colors of spring for me are the greens the reds so I want to really emphasize that and that's why I already also chose the salad with some greens I have some spinach here and I'll also add the strawberries like I mentioned and then a bunch of other things as well to add some interest so Let's go and try to create a nice composition and then we're gonna go style the salad. So first of all, uh, if we look at the screen, the light uh, is actually coming from here. It's from the light that's actually lighting me, but we're gonna use a speed light from here. So basically the direction of light is gonna be different as you see now on the screen. So let's go ahead and quickly find a way to create a beautiful composition. So first of all, I'm gonna start with my plate and I'm gonna use a diagonal to kind of create a little bit of uh, drama and dynamics. So I think something like that looks pretty, pretty nice. So the light is actually gonna come from here uh, and I think it's gonna look pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so we have this plate set up and now I have a bunch of round things that I can place around to create a balanced photo. So I'm gonna take this approach and place stuff like on the opposite side. So probably some around here are gonna be some of those elements and some elements are gonna be on this side over here. And then I'm gonna try and figure out how I can add the branch to um, fit that whole 
balance thing in the photo, in the composition. So I think the oil is gonna go here just because the light is closer to it and we're gonna get a nice reflection from the, from the oil, so the orange reflection at the bottom. Then maybe I can add uh, something over here. So let's look at the composition. Something like that. And then on the other side, I'm gonna place this Himalayan salt, which I actually absolutely love and I use it so, so often. Probably somewhere around that. Now I have two things and it's a glass and a pitcher. And if I'm gonna use a pitcher, then I need to make a dressing of some sort because I don't want it to be empty. Or if I use a glass, I will probably add some water or juice or something in there. So I'm just gonna try and see what works better. So maybe since we have some reflections from the glass here, it's gonna look nice with this glass as well. So let's take a look. And I don't want these two things to be like really exactly the same. So I'm gonna play around to make the composition a little bit more dramatic, not too repetitive. So maybe something like that. And just have the glass pick in a little bit. Actually, if it's just picking it in this little, maybe not, I don't even necessarily need to add some water. We'll see how it looks. And then I can play around with a napkin to just add a little bit of the framing to the photo. Let's see. I really like those lightweight napkins. Oh, it's dirty on one side. Um, the lightweight napkins, I think, are really, really beautiful for spring and summer photos. Um, whereas for winter photos, I like to use harder um, materials. So I think something like that looks pretty balanced in terms of composition. Um, so this branch, I'm gonna hold it in hand while I'm taking the final photo. So I'm just gonna try and figure out where approximately I need to place it. Just maybe some, something in this bottom part of the photo. And I don't want too many lines from there, from the branch to lead out from the photo. I want, still, I want to still have some softness in the photo and the line like this might break that softness. So, you know, something like this might look pretty nice. Or if I use a diagonal, something like this, I think would be perfect. So we can go on and do a test photo and then come back and style the salad. As you see in the photo, the branch is not blurred enough, so I'm gonna have to hold it higher up. So let's do another one. So I think this turned out much better. I'm gonna find the final position at the end, but in terms of blurness, I think I need to hold it somewhere around this height. So the next thing before we start to style is the shadows are looking a little bit dark. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna use this foam board, but I'm gonna add it on later on because it's just gonna be easier for me to style the salad um, without this one being here. Um, so I'm gonna edit later on. So let's go ahead and style the salad. Okay, so we have some spinach here. Uh, we have, have some strawberries that I'm gonna cut. And what else we have are some pine nuts. We have a burrata cheese. Oh, it's actually making a mess. This one is pretty large, so I'll have to tear it apart and make smaller uh, pieces. And then later on at the end, before we take the final photo, I'm gonna also add a sprinkle of olive oil um, just to add that salad feel um, with the dressing. So let's start with the spinach. I'm just gonna make sure to actually fluff it up and to remove the not so nice looking ones, um, at least the ones that are gonna be visible on top. Okay, so 
So then I'll add the, uh, the other ingredient that feels pretty heavy and that's the cheese. So let's be... <laughs> Let's be really gentle with those cheese. Um, I'm actually going to go and remove some of the water, otherwise I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, I'm back. So the reason why I had it in the water was I didn't want it to look dry before we actually take the photo. So that's also something to consider when you're styling. So basically you don't want to be doing like what I'm doing right now, styling on the set. I usually do it, you know, separately. Um, but you know, for the terms of this video, we're gonna do it like that. Uh, Cause otherwise you have mess here on the set, which you actually need to clean up before you take the final photo. So don't do that please. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure that the shapes of this cheese is, are looking nice. And again, I'm using the balance, so I'm gonna use the opposite diagonal. We had this diagonal before with the whole composition and then in this uh, position of the cheese, I'm gonna use the opposite di diagonal. So I think for now, the cheese looks good. What I'm gonna do right now is add some, a bit of water on the spinach so it looks fresh, it looks like it's been dressed before we go on and add other things. Okay, so then we have some nice looking strawberries. I'm picking the smallest ones because my, my um, plate is not really large, so. And you know, since this is a salad, I'm gonna actually remove the greens and just keep the, the red ones. Otherwise, I really like to use strawberries with the greenery on top. Just gonna remove that. And then play around with the shapes of strawberries and cut it in different ways. Okay, perfect. I actually prepared some kind of croutons, but in oddly shaped, not, not square ones. So they look a little bit more interesting. So I was thinking if I can add those to the salad as well. Don't want to add too much because I still want this salad to be kind of more lightweight salad. So I just want to add a touch of the bread. Now I'm gonna go and sprinkle the pine nuts again, following that diagonal. So this part of the salad is kind of looking a little bit squished. It needs more volume, so I'm gonna try and find a small leaf and place it on top. So yes, much better. It has more definition. It, you can actually tell that there's spinach in, in. So I think maybe if we, we can find another one. Yeah. Add a little bit of life to the salad with some water. I think this looks perfect. Right now I'm gonna remove this strawberries and then we can add some pine nuts here in this bowl okay perfect so right now I'm gonna just remove some of the mess I have and then oh this is also not going in the <laughs> in the scene and then what I'm gonna do is actually create intentional mess um, and I can add a bit of pine nuts over here so I don't like the look of that and I might try with the breadcrumbs try to place a few breadcrumbs around so just to to add that feeling of someone is eating this right now but I don't want to really overwhelm the photo with too much mess 
because otherwise it's not going to be really believable and it's it will sort of defeat the purpose of fresh looking spring salad so just have something very very fine will probably work best okay so i'm pretty happy with that so i'm gonna do another test shot before i go and pour the oil over the salad because it's gonna sink in really quickly so let's do that right now okay so this is looking nice uh, the branch we're gonna have to take a few photos to get the the position really correct okay so we're almost done but before we take the final photo we still have to add a reflector because the shadows are looking a little bit dark for a bright and airy photo so i think somewhere around here should be okay like that and then the next thing is to drizzle some olive oil on top of the salad and i really don't want to drizzle it all all over i just want to add a little bit of the pool oil pools inside the cheese and maybe some other places and then just one other thing i just remembered is i would like to add a little bit of crushed pep red, red a little bit of crushed pepper i made it so this will just add a little bit of a texture to the cheese i don't want to really add it all over maybe just a tiny bit so it connects the entire salad like that okay so we're basically done and now let's try and take the final photo So there we have it, a beautiful spring salad photo. Before we go on and look at the final photo, I just wanted to let you know that I'm actually teaching storytelling in food photography and videography at the Master of the Art of Food Photography Summit hosted by the lovely Jenna Carlin. You can actually join for free and I'll add the link in the description box below if you're interested in joining that. So here it is, the final photo. I think it looks absolutely beautiful so stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna edit this photo in Lightroom. Thank you so much for staying till the end uh, and I'll see you next time.